yoga most of the people they think that it is just physical but actually mm -hmm. it is uh, healing emotionally emotionally wow. we have to heal uh, people which actually uh, helps them to heal their uh, physical body that's what was my key learning uh, in my journey rasa and emotions mm -hmm. and then uh, write a paper so that was my first paper music along with the sukshma vyayama we gave pilu raga 15 minutes like pranayama mm -hmm. 15 minutes and asanas whatever she could do mm -hmm. we, we gave 15 minutes of raga and drt 15 minutes of raga within four weeks this was a case study mm -hmm. her visual analog scale the pain actually 25 percent of uh, pain reduction had happened each and every mm -hmm. disease has an emotional cause the emotional cause is cribbing for something which you do not have Namaste to all the yoga sadhakas. Welcome to yet another episode of Yoga Arbhava series, Reflections of a Yogi. And this is March. And in March, on March 8th, we celebrate International Women's Day. And I thought there are so many great achievers in the field of yoga from the women community. And today we have one such achievers with us, Dr. Karuna Nagarajan. Namaste, madam. So thank Namaste. you so much for joining us. And I just thought, why don't we talk to her and understand from her experience something that she has learned from the experience in the field of yoga, which she can share with all of us today. And before I start, I hand it over to her. So I wish all the women a very happy International Yoga Day. I know it's already late, uh, but now that it's considering that it's a monthly series that we release it by the end of the month. So I think it's still March and I think it's still appropriate to uh, wish every woman who is watching this series. So with this, uh, before I hand it over to Dr. Karuna, ma'am, I'll introduce her to all of you. Dr. Karuna Nagarajan works as an associate professor, deputy director of ODL, Svyasa, deemed to be university. She is a founder of Swaraveda Foundation, dedicated to Indian music, Indian music therapy courses and research. She is also a professor of Atha Yoga and Patanjali Yoga Sutras at Vivekananda Yoga University, California, USA. And she holds master's and PhD in yoga along with an MBA degree. She, she has worked in expert committee for curriculum development for UGC, National Council for Teachers Education, and Indira Gandhi National Institute of Open Schooling, Health Sector Skill Council, and Quality Council of India. She is also a recognized yoga chikitsa acharya by Indian Yoga Association. And she has authored many books for National Council for Teachers Education, National Institute of Open Schooling, IGNU, QCI, HSSC, and books on Indian therapy. She is teaching various subjects of yoga, such as Atha Yoga text, yoga therapy, yoga sutras, Bhagavad Gita, personality development for school children, etc. from August 2007. And she has published many research papers in international journals on the effect of Indian music. She is guiding many PhD scholars in yoga education and music therapy, recently appointed as a professor in Yasvyasa University and distance education uh, department. So with this small introduction, I welcome Dr. Karna Nagarajan. Thank you so much for joining us, madam. Thank you. Stay. Thank you, Vinayji. So uh, now that uh, you know about the series and uh, we just definitely want to learn uh, more about your journey about yoga itself and based on your experience and what are those key learnings that you want to share it uh, to the to the next generation thank you vinay ji mainly um, yoga most of the people they think that it is just physical but actually mm -hmm. it is uh, healing emotionally emotionally wow. we have to heal uh, people which actually uh, helps them to heal their uh, physical body that's what was my key learning uh, in my journey and uh, I would like to share uh, one or two uh, case studies where I uh, taught them both yoga therapy and music therapy, which I would uh, say that when you heal a person emotionally, automatically, they will get some relief. The um, first case I would uh, like to discuss is a palliative care uh, patient. Uh, she, she was given a three weeks time, that's all, a cancer patient. And um, huh? it was terminal case. Somebody requested me to come and uh, speak to her. So I went to her personally. 
where uh, first thing I did was I folded her hand. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't have her children near her. That was one uh -huh. uh, thing for which she was saddened. And uh, uh -huh. secondly, she was suffering with so much of pain and sedatives. This, this was uh -huh. the second thing. So what was that she wanted was, it was love, that care she wanted. So what I did is, um, she was unable to sit, of course. Uh, so uh -huh. like I, I asked her to observe her breathing, uh, which uh -huh. was again difficult for her. Uh, observing her breathing mm. and I thought I will give Mahamrutyunjaya Mantra but she was unable to take that. So what I mm -hmm. did was I, I sang a song which was uh, uh, one of the songs in uh, Deshra mm -hmm. which, which uh, helped her to little calm down. Then later on I asked her to of course move her finger and uh, with little sukshma Vyayama and uh, all these things. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was not a big relief for her, but what I understood is that taking care of that person, holding her hand, giving little love, and mm. and uh, speaking to her uh, her personal problems, like taking uh, um, listening to her is very important. Like it was so important, mm -hmm. which which I learned through my experience. This was uh, just two years back during the wow. Corona time. Uh, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this this is the first experience which I wanted to share. And second mm -hmm. experience is where we treated um, uh, a lady who was suffering from with uh, because of stress. She was suffering with the rheumatoid mm -hmm. arthritis from past four years. So mainly mm -hmm. for rheumatoid arthritis, what we do is we give sukshma vyayama. That subtle mm -hmm. exercise mm -hmm. for the fingers Correct. and all. So that is what we give, right? Uh, and little mm -hmm. pranayama and let, later on mm -hmm. DRT. So what we mm -hmm. did for her is along with these 60 minutes practice, we mm -hmm. gave four weeks of uh, music along with the sukshma vyayama. We gave pilu raga 15 minutes like pranayama mm -hmm. 15 minutes and asanas, whatever she could do. Mm -hmm. we, we gave 15 minutes of raga and DRT 15 minutes of raga. It Within four weeks, this was a case study, mm -hmm. her uh, pain, uh, we, we took the um, uh, visual analog scale, the pain, uh, mm -hmm. uh, how, how was her pain reduction? Actually, 25% of uh, pain reduction had happened. And uh, this paper is also accepted for publication. It's not yet published. I just wanted, I will later on, I can share that paper. And uh, amazingly, as there was a significant um, uh, improvement in her mental well-being. This also we yeah. got it. Uh, this, this is uh, one wonderful mm -hmm. thing where uh, it's uh, not just addressing the physical aspect of uh, uh, mm -hmm. the disease but also emotional aspect of the disease because each and every mm -hmm. disease has an emotional cause for example mm -hmm. uh, for example let me take diabetes when we say diabetes why diabetes is caused is the emotional cause is cribbing for something which you do not have but not appreciating mm -hmm. what you already have this is one important cause of diabetes hey i should have wow. had this husband such husband, mm -hmm. such house, so this, you don't you crib for something which you do not have, but but you don't appreciate. Mm -hmm. So this cribbing in your in your mind, what happens? It the mind mm -hmm. uh, body wants to compensate for the uh, mind's bitterness. So mm -hmm. you know, mind and body are connected. Wow, what happens beautiful. is yes. uh, when when mind and body is connected, the body wants to uh, substitute for the mind's bitterness, where the blood, uh, the mm -hmm. glucose mm -hmm. metabolism doesn't happen properly. So this this I have seen in many cases that cribbing most of mm -hmm. the time cribbing leads to diabetes, mm -hmm. and most of us. In India, though, you know how many people are suffering from diabetes. So this is, yeah, I felt right. that reversing your thought pattern uh, will actually help in reversing the bodily uh, diseases, I felt. And that is why even Patanjali says, Maitri karuna hmm. mudito pekshanam sukha dukkha punya punya vishayanam bhavana tascha chitta prasadanam. See, see, he tells about bhavana. Bhavana again is... Uh, emotions right 
uh, if you want to be happy uh, in your day to day life chitta prasadanam he calls for that you have to adapt all these positive attitudes like maitri being friendly uh-huh. karuna have, uh-huh. having compassion and ha- be happy for those who are happy and uh-huh. having a non judgmental attitude towards the wicked all these four attitudes uh-huh. when we have uh, that will definitely help them to reverse the disease i feel so i feel that emotional healing is what is very important uh, along with physical uh, yoga exercises uh-huh. so with fantastic. this and uh, uh, this is my fantastic uh, uh, it's 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 my experience of uh, more than 20 years fantastic one because the, nowadays uh, whenever we think about yoga the physical things comes to the mind first but yes. you brought out a, a new dimension to this whole practice itself by bringing in the emotional dimension uh, and how the emotion the cribbing is going to cause uh, in issues like diabetes and all that uh, wonderfully said and now if i want to ask you about uh, because you're a, you're an expert in music and all that uh, and i know i'm sure you have done a lot of uh, case studies and uh, research in this uh, application of music and now from whatever you spoke i understood that the music is something which emotionally heals us and once it heals us emotionally it will definitely have a, a physical benefit from that uh, yes. but now for yourself right if i want to ask you when did you first figure out that uh, such a kind of a thing is possible like uh, by use you can go deep into the music itself as a as a healing tool and uh, any any personally have you felt something for yourself where uh, he, the music has helped you a lot or what made you to get into this music therapy itself Uh, music therapy i attribute uh, everything to my guru dr hr nagendra he was the one who actually um, told that uh, you have to do music therapy instead of yoga therapy as my phd uh, research so what he oh. did was he sent me to uh, sachidananda ganapati ashram in mysore uh, mm-hmm. so i went there and uh, amazingly they used to give us uh, the headphone and they may, they used to ask us what is the um, what is your uh, nakshatra what is your rashi they used to ask so according what? to that uh, they used to give the music so i told my rashi is kataka and they started giving me hindola ragam so i asked okay. them why are you giving me hindola raga but they didn't hmm. answer it was their uh, trade secret or something like that so i came and told guruji he said uh, he said why don't you find out so that was wow. my phd topic he gave so then uh, there started my uh, journey and my first uh, paper was review of rasas and ragas and its therapeutic application in 2013 so before that i had attended uh, louis hayes um, a workshop uh-huh. in mumbai uh-huh. uh, that uh, that was one uh, uh, thing where i thought hey emotions are so important and they wow. they lead to uh, disease i i understood that from her uh, website uh, uh, website mm. and uh, she has written her book also which is uh, very famous it's a uh, best seller in amazon also uh, you can heal your life that is the book's name so after wow. attending her workshop what i did was uh, i attended one um, two credit course uh, mind body medicine by my uh, teacher dr t m shrinivasan so mm-hmm. there he, he there he connected the emotion hpa axis all these things it was a wonder for me i said sir i want to write a mu- uh, paper uh, related to music so then i did the lot of uh, of course i am trained in music from my childhood so i thought hey mm. why why not use this concept of rasa and emotions mm. and then uh, write a paper so that was my first paper then later on i did uh, my um, st- uh, on s- uh, college students i did uh, i took hrv and i took one raga which actually helped them in improving their memory and concentration uh mm-hmm. so i uh, that I was the mohan Ra- mohan raga which i used uh, so mm-hmm. like this uh, my journey of music therapy started and uh, later on during corona based on my uh, thesis i developed a course uh, which was introduction to indian music therapy which was uh, mm-hmm. a very nice successful course uh, after wow. that i started my own uh, uh, 
uh, institution, Sarveda Foundation, mm. which is doing very well with research and uh, many courses. Wow, fantastic. My course, uh, uh, Introduction to Indian Music Therapy, was approved by Health Sector Skill Council under Ministry of Ayush which uh, uh, during the approval uh, of that course, it was uh, presented in front of Academic Council HSSE, which was mm -hmm. chaired by Dr. Devi Shetty. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. I think you you just opened a, a new word for us, actually, because uh, probably a lot of uh, audience of this uh, series, they have so far heard about uh, yoga and uh, from the yoga, a lot of yoga acharyas and all that. So you brought in a new dimension to it now, how music can be healing and how emotional healing is extremely important and how uh, having a wrong emotion can cause uh, ailments. And probably this short session is not uh, uh, enough to uh, get everything that we wanted to learn from you. Uh, but nevertheless, I think we just have to uh, stop here today uh, for this for sharing this from you. And definitely we'll have more uh, time with you in the, in the future in some other uh, some other session where we'll have more information to learn and share from you as well. So thank you so much again uh, for joining us and sharing us how uh, yoga is much more than physical and how emotions are extremely important to be worked on as well. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you.